More gender equality, that's the plea from acting public protector Koleka Kaleka. She says there's not enough acknowledgement of the role women play in the shaping of South Africa's democracy. She attended a women's tribute at Freedom Park in Pretoria earlier today, celebrating those in power and those inspiring others to continue the legacy. Our reporter Theodore Mashela was there and brings us this story. That is critical. Performance is not enough. A person can perform, they can give you numbers, but can they, can they give you sustenance? Can they give our children and grandchildren a future? Not only a celebration, but a plea for the country to give more credit to women in power. Research has found that just not celebrated, I think celebrated is secondary, but it's, it's acceptance and, and recognition, you know, not just as women, but as women leadership. And the research shows that it's not at 100%. Therefore, it is not enough. It is 100% that we are looking for, but it is not celebration that we are looking for. It is equality that we are looking for what is envisaged in the constitution of this country. Kaleka says we must not forget our history and acknowledge the role women played to get us to where we are. What we enjoy today was crafted by women visionaries. One of them, Umamu Charlotte Manya Matleke, over a centenary ago, she had the foresight that as a woman you need to build your capacity. She studied and became the first black woman scientist. But also, she had the vision that building that capacity as a woman, you are not building it for yourself. You are building it for society, for your country. She could have chosen to stay in America, but she came back to this country. But also, being a woman is the embodiment that you represent. This year marks 66 years since the Great Women's March of 1956, and this tribute pays homage to those icons. Uh, today we are honoring women who continue to make great contributions uh, in the positions that they hold. Um, we realize and acknowledge that these women are standing on the shoulders of giants, those who came before them, our veterans of the liberation struggle who fought for these women to be able to hold these positions. But we celebrate them because they are holding these positions due to hard work and therefore we consider them inspirational women. And that is why today we're focusing on women strengthening democracy and accountability because if you look at the responsibilities in their shoulders. It's an inspiration, but it gives hope that this democracy can work because democracy will only work if there is accountability and the institutions that they come from are responsible for that. Theodore Mashele, Pretoria.